Hey everyone, Seth coming to you from the Kenwood Training Department. Today we've got the Kenwood Exelon XR600-6 DSP OEM Integration Amplifier. We're going to perform an on-site installation and take you through all the steps of the setup process. But first, let's talk about why is this amplifier needed? Well, many of today's vehicles that have factory installed premium sound systems are not exactly premium when it comes to the sound quality. So many customers are looking for ways to upgrade their sound system. You may think that by changing out the receiver, that radio up in the front of the dash, because that's the main contact point, that's what you see, you believe that that's where the sound is coming from. But that's not necessarily the case. Most of the sound is actually being transferred from the factory amplifier out to the speakers in the vehicle. The factory amplifier is doing all of the processing, the crossovers, all the EQing, everything is actually happening inside of that factory amplifier. So easy enough, let's just change out the speakers and change out the amplifier. Well, we wish it were that easy, but unfortunately, in today's vehicles, it's not that easy. The factory receiver up front is sending a specific signal to that factory amplifier and when you take out that factory amplifier, you lose things like your door chimes, your navigation voice prompts, and many other safety warning features. This is where the Kenwood Exelon XR606 DSP comes into play when used in conjunction with the iDatalink Maestro AR. You're now able to speak directly on the data network of the vehicle with the Maestro AR, then it translates that language and sends a clean signal directly to the Exelon XR606 DSP amplifier. Ultimately, you're able to keep that factory receiver up front, but give the customer and maybe even give yourself what you really deserve and what you're looking for, and that's great sounding audio. Enjoying that audio experience. Well, today we're gonna take you through those steps. We're going to perform an on site installation of the XR606 DSP, take you through the setup process, we'll show you that we'll be flashing the Maestro AR, we'll perform the installation itself, and then we'll do the whole setup with the Kenwood DSP control app. So let's take a look. Step one, verify the vehicle compatibility. By checking compatibility on the website below, we have verified that the 2017 Ford Edge that we have here is compatible with the AR module and the 606 DSP amplifier. Step two, flash the Maestro AR. Start by plugging in your Maestro AR and then click on Start Configuration. Select the make. Next, select the year and then select the vehicle model and trim. Select Kenwood. Select the XR600-6 DSP and insert the serial number of the amplifier. Select Confirm Serial. Scroll down to Continue and select Now click on Flash Your Maestro. The flashing process will begin and finish moments later. You have now completed the flashing of the Maestro. You can select Download Guide to download and print out the installation guide. As you see here for the 2017 Ford Edge, the Maestro AR installation guide does provide all of the details that we need to complete the installation. This includes the process and all of the wiring. As you can see, this 2017 Ford Edge has the upgraded audio system with touchscreen receiver in the dash. But where it's really lacking is in the sound quality. That's where the XR606 DSP and the Maestro AR module really come into play. After doing a little research, we found out that the amplifier is actually hidden in the back panel 
right here. So we're going to start off by removing this panel and getting to the factory amp. Step 3. Remove the factory amplifier. Now that we have the factory panel removed, we have full access to the factory amp. First, I'm going to start off by disconnecting the three Molex plugs on the far side. After that, I'm going to unscrew the four screws holding the factory amplifier into the mount. We're going to utilize this mounting bracket for the XR606 DSP amplifier in a moment. Step 4. Mount and wire the XR600-6 DSP. One of the nice features about the XR606 DSP is its compact size. We're able to utilize the factory amplifier mounting bracket in this installation. This will keep us from drilling any unnecessary holes in the vehicle. I would suggest creating your own mounting bracket that would hold both the amplifier and the AR module in the same location. At this point, I am going to keep the three mounting bolts loose. That way I can adjust the amplifiers needed while we're doing all of the wiring. Your FO2 harness from ADS comes with three different plugs. We're going to start off with the speaker output wires for the amplifier. These are all labeled. If your memory's like mine, you're going to want to take some notes at this point in time, so that way when you're setting up the amplifier later, you're going to know which speaker is designated for which channel on the amplifier, and it will make it a lot easier. I'm going to start off with setting up my tweeters on channels 1 and 2, and then my mid-range drivers in the doors on channels 3 and 4. Then the rear speakers will be set up on channels 5 and 6. Now that we have all of our speaker wires connected and ready to plug in, we're going to run our power and ground wire to the amplifier. Let's finish up by tightening our power and ground wire that we've previously ran. As you can see, there's no remote turn on wire that is completely handled by the AR module, so it's one less wire that we have to run in this installation. Step 5. Mount and connect the Maestro AR. Now that we've wired up the amplifier and flashed the Maestro AR module, we're ready to complete the installation. First, we want to take our T-harnesses that are left over and plug them into the AR module. Next, we have a larger plug that goes directly into the amplifier. Once everything is mounted and secured, now all we have left is plugging in our T-harnesses. These T-harnesses were the same ones that were removed from the factory amplifier. We have the amplifier installed and the wiring cleaned up. At this point, you will want to upgrade the factory speakers. In this instance, we added a set of Exelon components and coaxials. You can add just the amplifier to improve the sound quality, However, we really do suggest to get the best performance adding the speakers also. In this installation, we're using all six channels of amplified output. So to add a subwoofer, we need to add another mono amplifier into the system. Luckily, the 606 DSP amplifier has four preamp outputs that'll make this an easy installation. Step six, install the Kenwood DSP control application. We're now ready for tuning. Start with downloading the Kenwood DSP control application on your Android or iOS device. Step 7. Ensuring that the amp's operation mode switch is set to position A, you can now set up the speaker connections and adjust the sound settings. Now that I've downloaded and opened up the Kenwood DSP control application, we can go in and start our connection. The connection is made via Bluetooth between the phone and the amplifier itself. However, you can't just view Bluetooth connections from your phone. You have to come in and select the Bluetooth icon. Your amplifier will show up. You select that, and now we're connected. This is so that the customer, when they're in their car, searching for their Bluetooth for their head unit, they don't see the amplifier. Once we've made that connection, we can start off by setting up our speakers.
Once everything's laid out, we're going to select Save. Just one more time. And this gives us the availability to save it in as a preset. You can save up to 50 different presets, so depending on the vehicles that you're doing. Probably F-150 and Dodge Ram will be your two most popular. So you can lay them out in your sound settings. That way you can just send it over to multiple amplifiers if you need to. The final step is to switch the amp's operation mode switch to B, and then enjoy superior sound quality. And here we are all finished up. We have both of our amplifiers hidden behind the factory trim panel, and we've added in our 10-inch subwoofer. We hope you enjoyed the installation of the Kenwood Exelon XR600-6 DSP OEM integration amplifier and iDatalink Maestro AR. We encourage you to embrace this new technology and reap the benefits of great sounding audio even in today's most complex vehicles. Thanks again for tuning in and we'll look forward to seeing you again next time.